So good evening and uh, welcome to round four of the Scott Mountain Bike Marathon Series and uh, the second exposure Big Lights Out of 2017. Live on location here at uh, the Lady Bar Reservoir, which in all honesty I thought was bigger. Yeah, I think Craig has been exaggerating. A little yeah. bit, yeah. So we're on arrival uh, in Hope itself on either the Friday or the Saturday, whenever you turn up. There is a a walking festival going on that's called Trek Fest. Um, not sponsored by Trek Bikes, I don't think. No, it's, more, it's just a, a walk. A walk. Yeah. So just make sure that you follow our signage, which is like so, and not theirs. Okay, theirs will be clearly marked with their branding, orange arrows, and our, our logo as per usual. And if you notice down here, carefully put MTB Marathon Series. So if you see on the other side of the road, Trek Fest, walking festival, or something along those lines, and it doesn't have the words MTB or Marathon Series in it. Ignore that Don't and look out for this. All right? Yeah, that one. Um, there is a other slight um, change to what our normal rules are on the campsite as well. This one, no dogs allowed. Unfortunately, we've just been informed that um, they're not allowed because it's a school grounds and the school starts a couple of days after our event. Uh, no dogs allowed, and also barbecues. Uh, with charcoal and not permitted either, only gas barbecues. So can you brief in for the Exposure Lights Big Night Out first of all Dave and if you could talk us through the distances and what to expect. So Exposure Lights uh, Big Night Out 2nd of September kicks off at 8pm the reg desk for that will close at 7.30pm and you need to be on the line about a quarter of an hour before the ride starts. Uh, usual thing it'll be a mass start um, kicking off behind the mountain bike marathon truck and we are going to be following these arrows. So these are a white um, scotch bright arrow on a black background so once you've got your exposure big lights on flat out you can see these they're like um, they're like beacons yeah. out in the distance yeah, sending you over yonder hill. A couple of things to note um, which is quite important for the, the night ride uh, there is a walk-in festival on the same weekend and it is crossing a few parts of the part of the track that we will be on so they're using fluorescent pink arrows. We are using these bad boys. So obviously follow these, not the pink ones. Follow the fluorescent you'll, pink. You'll end up probably doing quite well in, a, in the walk. But uh, <laughs> who wants to walk, eh? <laughs> who wants to walk? Could have won the walking festival <laughs> on a bike. Yeah, so uh, yeah, make sure you follow the, the our arrows and no one else's. Yeah, plus also at this time, um, uh, the bicycle walker interface. Obviously we've got a long history of uh, love between mountain bikers and ramblers. So let's keep it that way. Um, you know, if you do happen upon walkers out on the hill, then uh, ride a back or bike or something like that. Don't just cut down the inside of them at 25, 30, because again, it will tarnish that beautiful relationship we have with ramblers. Yeah. So uh, two distances as per usual. The first one, the Equinox is 20K, which is uh, relatively untechnical, double track most of the way. Uh, finishes round the Lady Bower, just round the side here. You can just see the, the edge of it here, quite neat. Uh, would, you, would you recommend that for sort of, um, if it was your first uh, night ride, Dave, would you recommend that? Yeah, that would be the yeah. Boy, yeah. yeah, to, to yeah. try the, the 20k and uh, have a little dabble. Because you can hire lights on the night, um, do a deposit, and the guys do amazing deals, of course, it's coming to the end of the season as well. So, um, you can pick yourself a little bargain up there. Yeah, just bear in mind though that if you do hire lights, they're a lot cheaper if you pre order them online. Um, on the website by here. By there? Um, yeah, uh, I think they double the price if you hire them on the night. So it's a good idea to do them online and be organised. Worth getting in, in and doing that this week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, front and light, rear lights are mandatory. So yeah, if you haven't got one, it's probably a cheap way of doing the ride, actually. Yeah. Have we got sections of road, Dave? Uh, yeah. A couple of sections of road. Yeah, there's. On the lead out, obviously. On the lead out, and then as you come down off the first main descent you'll turn right and then right to your cross in the road. There'll be marshals there, but just be vigilant. Uh, look out for caution signs. If there are caution signs, it's either a technical section or uh, you're going onto a road. So man uh, rear lights are mandatory for the for the night ride, so uh, make sure you get your batteries charged. Yeah, and then the second route, which is the Max D, the big one, bit more of a test. Uh, yeah, and then the last descent on that, is a proper technical descent. Te uh, it'll test out the best of the riders. So when you come to the sort of 35k mark, you see caution signs. Good idea to 
doing what it says on the tin. So moving on to the Sunday then, Sunday the 3rd of September. The last one the last of one. 2017, Just round a, four. Quite an important note, um, it's actually my birthday, so if anyone wants to give me um, any presents or just you know, the money, it's fine. The big 4 0. Big 4 0. It's quite a big one, yeah. I've, I've weathered well, really. Thank you. You have weathered well. Hell of a paper round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, in all, in all seriousness, um, any, any presents or donations are, you know, quite welcomely received. So, on the 3rd of September, then, uh, kicks off the, with the mass start, as per usual, um, at 10 a.m. Obviously, the guys that have done the night ride are going to be a little bit tired, so make sure you set your alarms nice and early. The reg desk shuts at 9 30 and start to line up a quarter of an hour before the, the start, so 9.45, so Brew can um, just give you sort of the last minute. Uh, yeah, business. yeah, because it doesn't get out to everyone, and that's a, a important at this time, we should say, you know, share this video, share the link so it gets around uh, your Facebook friends and stuff, and we'll do a riders briefing beforehand where we go through some important things, and um, we'll pick up on a couple of those now. Littering, big one, okay? Um, so if you take it with you, Bring it back with you, all right? Most likely jerseys have pockets, unless you're enduro rad, you wear one of them flappy ones. Um, tuck it in your camel back, stick it in your shorts, bring your litter back. There's also bins at the, uh, serve, at the feed stations as well. So anything you've consumed across the first part of the course, drop it in the bin when you get to the feed station, that sort of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, you know, our riders are very good at that. So very good. Keep up the good work. If you can. Yeah, keep up the good work. We're allowed to go back to the, to the rides and the venues and yeah. year and year, year after. Because as you can see, the Peak District is an area of outstanding natural, natural beauty. beauty. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning up here. Yeah. It's a lot like Wales. It's a lot like Wales, and it's a pretty cold as well. It is cold. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it's summer. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so the Sunday ride then, we got three routes as per usual, the full 65k, the half 48k and the mini 25k. Um, the full and the half will have two feed stations and the mini will have one feed station. We should say as well, uh, of course, take enough with you that you would uh, perhaps consume along the distance, you know, your usual things, your own talk bars and stuff like that, because the, the feed stations are there to supplement what you take with you. If you were out riding around here for uh, six or seven hours on a Sunday, then you wouldn't expect to see a pop-up marquee. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, be self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. Yeah. So, orange arrows on the day, like so. They'll be dotted around all the track. Any uh, key places to turn, there'll probably be two or three. But yeah, keep your eye out for these. If you go any more than a couple hundred meters and you haven't seen one, there's a good chance you've gone the wrong way. Yeah, because there's a tendency when you're out uh, when you're out biking and you're on the rivet to get your head down and your backside in the air, and it's easy to miss them, you know. Um, when the course is split, because there's a couple of split points, isn't there? Yep. So the shorter distances, um, they will be split in a way, so it tends to follow the general loop, but the, the full distance will go out further. So there'll be a course split ahead, and it will usually say mini one way, full the other, full and half the other, or you know yeah. things like that. So keep an eye out for those. And it will be marshalled as well, so normally marshalled. Um, if you've entered the full or the half and you want to downgrade to the, to the lower route, you just tell the marshal on the on the split point they can um, mark your board and then um, you can go on your way. Be on this one as well, uh, there's a lot of gates. We've pretty much got them covered with marshals, but if for any reason, uh, sort of an emergency or uh, any other reason, the marshal has to leave the gate, so the gate is then closed. If you get to a gate that's closed, please make sure that uh, when you go through, you close it back. You know, it just keeps stock separated and it doesn't ruffle any feathers with local landowners. Yeah. Yeah. Um, important, uh, as you mentioned earlier, to sign in. Yeah, once you signed on, once you've got your number board, make sure if you do pull out or you, you don't finish the ride, make sure you sign off. So yeah. either tell a marshal, make sure they take your number and also store the numbers um, so that if anything does go wrong, store the numbers which Rob has got displayed. He's going to go here this time. He's going up, that is it. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's extra though, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. all across oh, this time. Oh, oh, hey. he, he charges not per letter, but per length. So he's going diagonally this time. This is the last video of the year. <laughs> charges per length. Yeah. So if you can, um, yeah, make sure you save these numbers when you've got your phone and make sure your phone's fully charged. If you have any trouble then, you've got them ready. There's no faffing around trying to find the numbers. And also remember that someone else does come and has a bit of trouble, bike issues or, you know, medical issues or has a crash. You know, be courteous and that's about it. That's about it. That's about all I have to say. A little bit sad we've come to an end. This is our last one of the year. Yeah. It's been a blast. It's been emotional. Yeah. But numbers are up. 
entries. Wow, you know yeah. it's going to be busy. Yeah. Huge entries for the uh, for the nighttime ride, which is, is going to be great. There's going to be a lot of people out there. So again, if you're thinking of doing your first one. This is the one to do, probably. You get a lot of support out there, you know, for your fellow mountain bikers. Yeah, yeah feel that buzz while you're out there. Yeah, proper buzz, yeah. yeah. All good. Yeah, we out.